This is John Paul Ryan coming to you from Tokyo, Japan. This here is a request video from Stovetop Ninja. She is a patron here. Thank you very much to her. And here's your video. It's about Knight Rider movie reboot and development with Aquaman's James Wan. And now we know that if you're following Depth vs. Heard, James Wan still has Amber Heard listed in Aquaman 2. We'll get to that. But of course, let's talk about Knight Rider. Iconic 80s TV series Knight Rider looks set to return in film form. It's been revealed that Atomic Monster, the production company of Aquaman, director James Wan is teaming up with Spyglass Media Group, Scream 5, the Hellraiser reboot, which I guess they also did, to adapt the NBC series as a movie reboot. Deadline reports that former video game writer TJ Fixman is adapting the screenplay and the new version will be set in the present day. I used to watch the show. Man, I can't remember. I didn't Google it the exact year, but I think I was like five or six years old or something like that when the show was on the air when new episodes are coming out. It was all right. I mean, it was pretty good. I never loved it, hated it. It was a good show. It was a good show. Starring David Hasselhoff as crime fighter Michael Knight and his high-tech, artificially intelligent talking car kit, Knight Rider ran for 90 episodes across four seasons from 1982 to 1986. Okay, there we are. So like I said, I was about five or six at that time. The action-packed show had an iconic theme song and has lived on through countless TV syndications, amassing a huge fan base. And yeah... The theme song was like unforgettable. I'd play it, but of course, I'd get a copyright claim, so can't do that. I'd also hum it, but that would sound pretty stupid, and I'd rather not. There have been three made-for-TV spin-off movies based on the series too. Hasselhoff returned for 1991's Knight Rider 2000, while 1994's Knight Rider 2010 was set in a dystopian Mad Max-style future. 2008's Knight Rider TV movie served as a pilot for a short-lived TV reboot which ran for one season and featured the son of Michael Knight. Hasselhoff has yet to respond to the news. Yahoo has contacted his reps for comment. In 2017, Hasselhoff told TMZ that his Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 director James Gunn was seeking the rights to the show for a TV reboot. By the way, James Gunn went to some like really strange party dressing up as some really strange stuff. Thought I'd throw that in there. We're talking about doing a full-blown TV series and we're working on the rights right now, the Huff said. It really came out of my relationship with James Gunn and the fact that he watched the show when he was 8 years old. It was crazy. I had this idea for a long time and James just jumped on it and all of a sudden out of his mouth was, I'm trying to get the rights to do it. In 2017, Hasselhoff said he was in discussion with Robert Rodriguez to make a gritty Logan-style follow-up film of the series. So they mean Logan, like the Wolverine movie, which was actually exceptional. Actually exceptional. As far as Knight Rider, well, yeah, I'd give it a chance. Why not? It wasn't really on my radar for the last 30 years or so, but, I mean, I remember liking it as a kid, so sure. And to be honest, I was told to... Make this video right and do it justice. I hope I did. All I could give is my honest opinion on it. That's what I'm here for. But I did get a nice colorful Photoshop in the video. Now, as far as James Wan, this got me thinking. So, James Wan is on the project of Aquaman 2. And Amber Heard is still signed up to be in the movie. We don't have an official cancellation. We don't have an official statement from James Wan. So this means I'm kind of in limbo about how I feel about James Wan. I said Stephen King should give a statement about Amber Heard. So I guess James Wan is in the same boat. So what do you think, James? What's up? What do you think about the court case? What do you think about moving forward with Amber Heard? I think James should say something. Now, honestly, I don't know him so well. I don't know him at all. All I know is he's a pretty big-time director. But I also know that the Depp First Heard case is fucking huge, and if he doesn't, you know, pitch in his opinion, I'm going to have to think something's up. Anyway, you guys 
Let me know what you think down below. Kind of a fun video. I got sent this article. See what happens. If you're not subscribed here, consider it. I'm doing pop culture, depth vs. heard, celebrity news, stuff like that. I make mistakes, but I got some really colorful stuff going on here. If you subscribe, well, that'll be great. If you don't subscribe, that'll be sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time.